What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Sweden. So to pick up where we left off, uh, France has utterly collapsed and we are now pushing south and we are about to uh, create a, a border with the Spanish Empire. We are going to take Toulouse uh, this turn. Next turn our armies will be on the, uh, will be sieging Bordeaux and we'll take that territory. Actually things are going really well. Mr. Backstrom is going to take Bordeaux, and then I would like him to push on and take Pamplona, and again this force here attacking Toulouse, I would like them to push on and take Barcelona. We can see that Spain is ripe for the taking, they have a couple of armies, but nothing that will really stop us, so these two armies could secure uh, mainland Spain, and we'll push on and attack Portugal, actually I think, actually Portugal is just independent, okay, well then they'll get gobbled up. Once this, for once these two armies have secured Spain, they will. I uh, also have to take Palma, but I would like to use those men, well, at least one of those armies, to attack uh, Britain while we kind of figure out what we're going to be doing in Europe. But too much jabber jabber. Let's attack the force here, garrisoning Toulouse, because it's just a force of partisans with a unit of uh, Spanish troops coming in as reinforcement. So let's take out the garrison. And secure Toulouse. We also have taken Marseille, so we do have an uh, offensive option in northern Italy as well. We have another <clears throat> army being recruited in Sweden, but it's tempting to put them to one side for the eventual attack on Britain. That would be tempting. So let's put... Hmm. First of all, let's just create a reasonable mixed central line to push up. Lifeguard, Bjorn Borg, and Lat Infantry on the right. Delta, Fel Feldjäger, and Finnish troops on the left. Six Pounder and Howitzer follow them up. General, follow them up. Separate our cavalry, but bear in mind we have two units of heavies, so neither flank doesn't have heavy support. I mean, I might. Mm. Trouble is, again, well, this is back here is not so bad. Drop them back here, see if they can shoot. Grouped units can be set to one. So we've got a Spanish unit coming in from behind them, which is great. Let's let's take our line. And advance them up. The enemy has no cavalry. Six pounders advance up just out of habit. Howitzers advance up. Then my left flank push. Then I'd probably like my cavalry to wander up. Because we are just partisans at the end of the day. They're just militia units. They will fall fairly quickly once we've surrounded them. There's a unit of light foot. It would be nice to wipe them out. If their desire is to okay, let's actually keep make our cavalry run around our infantry line. If they wish to push up then we will redeploy. But I think for now we are actually going to be okay. Although the conscripts are... yeah, they were advancing but they've fallen back. Don't think we're gonna have to do anything too crazy with our infantry. Oh, except... Isolate and destroy this unit of light foot. Okay, I might get my cavalry to trot towards the Spanish that's coming in to reinforce. You men run. You guys are already running. They're running uphill. So we're going to knock out the fifth light foot fairly quickly. Bjornborg, run. Lifeguard, run. My light infantry have pushed up. So you're going to be... Well, the light foot are going to be in, in for a bad time. The left flank looks a bit 
I'm not vulnerable, but where's my howitzer? Drop my howitzer. Get ready to trot my cavalry in there. You men have good a good line of sight ish on some of this on some of this artillery. I think I might want to keep my cavalry in better shape when these guys eventually rout. Even advance up. Oh, Felt Jaeger. Skirmishers should do a drop a devastating volley against the partisans who have broken. There you go. How it's a fire is really helping. The light foot are going to go down. The cavalry still trying towards the Spanish to the rear. Let's push past the light foot. Ooh, foot yeah, you're point blank against the you see the partisans. Yep, they're not happy about that one bit. Retarget my cavalry just to make sure they are still pushing in. Like I could charge my my cavalry into the light foot, but there's no. Well, I said there's no point. There is a point. I could knock them out and cause them not to come back. My heavy and light cavalry that's around the flanks smash into the first Spanish unit we've engaged with their light blue coats. They're not going to like this one bit. They're confident, because their flanks are secure. Square formation fall back. There you go, there you go, the fifth. Always fear the square. Not that's going to mean a huge amount to us, because our... You guys can try and hit the 28th Regiment. That's their General's unit. So you can try and knock out... I think the issue there was that they managed to... to well, we didn't make... We didn't, make um, we didn't come into contact with them until the... until after they'd formed square. Because if you engage a unit with cavalry, they can't actually form a defence... They can't form their um, special formations to try and protect themselves. So right now my cavalry is going to stand stand ready. Let them abandon their position. There we go, my dragoons have hit the 28th regiment here. Continue to attack them, because we want to try and get a bit more support. The units on the left, so let's get my howitzers to drop some shells against them. Okay, I might better do it now. Kill the enemy general. Okay, I think they're not likely to come back now. Not with only 60 odd men left. Let's see if you engage them in. in melee attack. They shouldn't be able to form a square. And there we go. Now they've come in to fight us in the melee. Push up my general. So the 10th regiment should not be long for this world. There we go. Push up our line to reflect that. Victory, sir, is soon to be yours. There we go. Kill the enemy Spanish commander. Just allow my men to keep attacking. Just do some damage. There we go. The envelopment is on. 
I'm not really using my skirmishes the way they, they're supposed to be used. I suppose I'm thinking of using them more as a very deadly addition to my line. There we go, the Spanish have been broken there, so bring my cavalry back. Well, not just broken, shattered. 18th Regiment is not happy. Maybe even less happy once the 8th have opened up. The 11th are pivoting to try and deal with the threats that are now surrounding them. The 9th Regiment will engage. Hopefully engage. They are slightly off. Yeah, they are slightly too, too off. Yeah, just walk our cavalry back. There's no rush. Pivot you like that, pivot you like that. Although you would be useful to try and isolate and destroy that regiment of partisans, then I can surround, I can flip these troops around to continue the flank. You need to pivot. You can pivot. But just start doing it. My horse guards can smash the militia. And then we can surround the remaining troops. What's the matter, partisans? They're going to try and engage my cavalrymen, but they're not having any of it. Oh, good job that how it's a shot came in when it did. Let's stop it. There we go. Partisans are broken. The 21st have broken. Now it's all on the 26th. And these remaining units are going to get shot to pieces. It will be quite useful, because it means that some of our troops can get a bit more experience. My lifeguards here are doing very well. They've got level 4 experience. We're not going to carry on, because uh, continuing battles like this in, in Napoleon Total War 3 take forever. We are going to loot to lose, because the territory stays fairly happy with us. Let's upgrade and replenish. So you have another Spanish army here. Mr. Zetisberg is continuing to hold. Let's take a unit of lifeguard out and push the enemy fleet out of Toulon. Let's upgrade the port. Let's recruit a sloop to hold on to it. I'm not going to upgrade the merchant house because that's going to be ripe for them to try and raid us. You're advancing up to the front. I would like to make Mr. Von Doblin make him move west, pick up another militia unit, because he's going to be a bit of a firefighting um, general. This force here is in good shape, but one more turn to the Supreme Court has been built, because we've got a lot of enemy firepower in the region. Plus Napoleon himself. Let's upgrade the factory. Let's upgrade... Brittany's military academy. The civilians, the lower classes are a bit unhappy with us. But resistance to foreign occupation should really help there. Or should drop and really help us out. To be honest, I think all of our infrastructure is as good as it. Well, that's not our territory, but mostly it's as good as we can get because we can't get the last road upgrade for whatever reason. Yeah, so Toulouse is taken. So, we can, so that will prevent the, the Spanish from being able to provide too many reinforcements. Um, into the eastern front. Let's hit end turn. I'm a spy. Let's keep an eye on Milan. I've got militia that are, dispatched, that are being dispatched to various cities on the continent. I'm not sending them down by ship because I'm. there's no immediate rush to get them down there. I'm happy to let them naturally make their way across. Yes, the French are going to... Well, they're going to do some... Raiding, we're going to bolster the garrison at Torino. They're not trying to head north and trying to flank outflank us. I would like the Austrians and the Russians to come to blows over the ownership of Vienna. I would really like that. But I do think I want to try and build up forces for the invasion of England. So I might actually. The army that's just been built in Stockholm, they may just deploy to Copenhagen or the Danish territories. Where I and then prepare a second army, then I can send two one to attack London, one to be in good shape to kind of firefight against any armies that might be pushing down from Edinburgh. 
Yeah, Spain isn't giving up on it. Giving up on the uh, territory. Wonder if they're going to try and attack any of our ships. No, no, they're going to raid uh, Portuguese territory. Gathering strength. Ooh, that, that would be. It would be tempting to hit them. Because that would destroy. That would be quite a large concentration of Spanish troops destroyed. Portugal's going to carry on trying to steal our technology. Good. One of our ministers has got an intelligent wife. Increased happiness for the nobility. The amusing cad reduces it for lower classes and and uh, the nobility. Damn it, blast! Well, while you're recruiting your last two units, we will recruit another general. I'm not going to get this guy, <laughs> petty tyrant. Well, there is a soldier from birth. Just I don't like it because of the morale penalty. Because morale in, in Napoleon Total War Three is very important. So we're going to go for Peter Darlin. Boy, right, Darlin. Okay, let's go for two lifeguards and two Rossars. Let's go for two howitzers, a 12, and a unit of Sveen guard troops. What's your 11 grand? Yeah, once this army's finished recruiting, they're just going to hold. They're going to hold position. Well, to be honest, they might go to northern France and hold here, ready to sail across. Because the London have been financially crippled for some time, so their army should be quite badly uh, depleted. And even, no, I was about to say maybe they might leave um, Portsmouth unguarded. William Brerisford and Edward Pakenham don't get any visibility on what's going on. The mainland itself, it could do with a spy. You're, I want you here to keep an eye on what's going on in northern Italy. You're a bit surplus to requirements, but you're keeping an eye on what's going on ahead of our front line, so you are actually quite useful. Do we have any other spies? You, Milan, Austria. Okay, that's just curiosity. I'm over here in Austria. Let's bring you back. I think it would be good to get some strategic intel on Britain. Uh, you are going to march forward and attack Mr. Disoria, because his basic force can be annihilated. Then get back to Toulouse before they realise we're not there. Let's upgrade. So Mr. Backstrom... Let's attack the garrison here at Bordeaux as well. Similar, same again. I'm expecting fairly, fairly simple action. Um, but then that is all of mainland France actually belongs to us. The only territory that remains of the original French Empire is that which they have conquered. So good for them on one hand. On the other hand, we're coming to get you. Okay, I like this feet this ground for artillery a bit better but we still want to create our mix and match front line bjornborg plus grenadiers on the right so it's our right flank is the stronger one light infantry foot jaeger and the first foot guard svenska gardet svea livgarde on the left, let's combine some cavalry to give them a bit of support. Mr. Backstrom's force is... Well, every action we do, we're becoming more and more elite. My howitzers could probably stand to unlimber here. We'll do an ex we'll explore it. There is a chance that we are going to bump into each other in the woods. The force... The enemy we're facing is mostly militia, so I'm not... Anticipating big things. If my howitzers can't engage, my six pounders won't be able to. Okay, there we go. The enemy have been exposed. Okay, lots of my guys are advancing through the woods hidden. They push through boldly with their hats.
Good stuff. Three rounds. My six pounders could probably stand to engage from here. Okay, my front line. I want to run to push up to secure my desired position. The men on the left can afford to walk. Veterans, a eh? Okay, my sixes are of engaged, so it will it is a issue with the So you haven't killed a bunch of my militia, that's positive. She might run you guys up as well. I mean it's one of those <laughs> situations where because the enemy force is so weak I could just smash my cavalry into there and if not kill them do, m do most of the damage so my howitzer's unlimber their job is going to be to focus fire the unit of veterans the 14th regiment yep, some of them have got better moustaches than others oh, they're, they're advancing too late we're going to be formed up 26th have begun the proceedings. Continue to push around either flank because it looks like they are going to let us. Well, they can't really afford to do anything else. They just don't have the numbers. Some howitzer. You focus on the 14th. Men formed up. Okay, let's reorganize our line. There we go. Delta on the left. It's militia on the right. It's my foot Jaeger on the right with foot guards to the rear who are going to run to catch up. Militia making ready. A few misfires, but they have already fired, so it's not going to be as a decisive. Ooh. Bjornborg versus Partisan Slokefest at point blank range. Slugfest completely won for our forces. Yeah, send our cavalry in. There we go. I was looking for the successful tech noise. Oh, you attack them. 17th Regiment of Broken. A successful surround of the enemy positions is nearly here. So if we'll make sure everyone runs. Ooh, the of Bjornborg will get an excellent set of kicks against the 11th if they open up. So is the 11th, the 11th, we currently have no experience. General wants to come out and play. My light horse can get him. My heavy cavalry don't have any reason to advance too heavily. A unit of partisan is running through a unit of light infantry, so they're likely to go down fast. 
enemy general has broken, but not been killed. Not that he's going to be too much of a problem anyway. He's going to be too busy um, getting captured in the fall of the city. But there we go, the last remaining unit's partisans have been resolutely surrounded. You men are going to fire at will off while my lifeguard try and make it past the gauntlet. Although, my lifeguard might actually charge the 14th. Or not. Come on. Bayonet charge them to try and get a handful of melee kills. There we go. Turn off all our artillery fire. Little bit of melee combat. There we go. Handful of kills apiece. And there goes the garrison of Toulouse. What have they got to lose? <laughs> Excellent. We're going to loot Bordeaux as well. So my main defining requirement for looting is how unhappy will they be afterwards i can i can i can i can afford to spend the money to rebuild their uh, ports but if they're still miserable afterwards uh, that becomes a bit of a problem but when they're ready they're going to push on and take barcelona and pamplona it looks like the spanish are going to be sending jose coronado simon martin against us we have a garrison force still in madrid Meanwhile, elsewhere, we have Mr. Neumann is going to attack the Spanish force Gilles de Balboa. I want to try a whole lot of generals, a good chunk of cavalry. I want to try and fight them and secure this bridgehead. So let's do that. Because the force we've got in Castle, they have to kind of look southeast towards potential troops advancing over the northern side of the river. Up towards castle, so they can't join us across this. Um, they can't join this army in this assault because then they'll be the wrong side of the river, and they can't respond to any potential enemy attacks. So I'm gonna put my twelves in the centre of my line. My Bjornborg and actually let's mix my militia in with my. Oh, these are Finnish troops. My mistake. Let's mix my militia in with my Finnish troops on the right flank. I've got a Delta. My foot guards and another unit of militia on the left. I mean, in all likelihood, we're probably going to advance up anyway. Um, I'm just a bit curious to see where the enemy come in. So my foot Jaeger and light foot are going to go on the right flank. Let's combine. Again, I always like splitting my cavalry up on both flanks. I mean, how I know a bunch of you are you going to be are going to say, "Well, no, do I? Um, sometimes I do I'm open to okay, so they are coming in okay, they are coming in from directly behind them okay in which case we are going to advance let my 12s do their work we are going to try and give them that field of fire Bring a howitzer unit along with each flanking force. My general is going to be in position. So my gunners are trying to do some counter battery work, although it looks like they didn't really know what they're doing. Enemy general's staff is on the way. They have yet to score a hit. To be honest, I. I'm really coming to the conclusion that most artillery in Napoleon Total War 3 is a bit of a bit of a damp squib. It always feels like you could probably use another line, another unit of infantry to flank around and surround people is better. Howitzers are better because they can provide that fire over the enemy, over the enemy's heads. Okay, let's move my men along fill up the gap that's, it, that's got the, where the 12 pounders are 
Yes, I know you're charging. It's a unit of dragoons. Against my whole line. A lot of cavalry coming in, though. Go on, you men. Present. Fire! Yeah, they immediately broke off. They immediately broke off, so you pop out of square, pop back in again. That'll be okay, that'll be just right. Oh, Dragoons, the general staff unit. Fools, these are my lifeguards as well. Looks like it's the strategic wish of their command commanders to commit suicide. There's three generals bodyguards and there's a fourth over there. Oh, they just wanted to leave the field of battle without uh, dying. And they figure let's charge a square. We'll probably make it out okay. Oh good. For me I thought we might killed be... their general, sir. Now they must break. Killed one of them. few more where they came from. So you men advance up to the to the mound. One unit's going to push around the flank of the mound, but he's not alone. They've got two units of cavalry to back them up. Okay, no, they're all going to have to go bloop. So it looks like they're determined to charge in. Straight into my squares, which is delightful. Still a few more cavalry units where that came from. So you men advance that side of the hump. You men can advance around the flank with the lifeguard with the light infantry. Looks like we've got another light horse units coming in for the charge. General's bodyguards have come back. They really are keen to attack these particular units. I mean, these are my foot guards as well. They're foot guards in square. Like, what a terrible idea. And here comes the next unit coming in. Now, that unit might have a bit more... a bit more something about them. Like I said, my cavalry's there and I've got an infantry unit. Actually, they're going to preemptively deploy into square because they know what the enemy is like. Generals are coming in again. Mm. Yeah, they're going to bump into my square formation, so I'm just going to let them again. Another general's bodyguard unit is on the way, but I want to push my line up here. Yeah, just all grouped together. I was hoping they would bump into my squares, but it appears they are not going to. So we've got a light, third light horse, the tenth regiment of horse cavalry de Ligne. Okay, there goes the second regiment of horse, so pull my cavalry back. You drop into square. You drop into square. You drop into pike formation. There you go, my light infantry is the only one not covered, but everyone can dump into squares quite merrily. I mean, this. It's another one. You men advance. I mean, it's such such dumb, dumb strategy. Oh well, I'll take it. Ah, finally, an actual enemy infantry unit. 
strengthen straighten this line up. General Walt <laughs> What's going on here? Are they just waiting for me to get out of square? And go into square again? Sir! Oh. Sir! Our general is under attack! Ooh. Hit me with something. Are your guns firing? Nope, they're just gonna sit there and not not fire. You men push up the flank, cavalry, get up around to the rear. I think I can hear artillery squeaking in around the back. Advance. Oh, looks like they're going to try another flank to try and push through. The 17th Regiment are here. Muskets ready. Ooh, that's a rather spiffy uniform. Okay, right. Let's get back into conventional mode. Well, they've gone back to... Are these horse guards? Yeah, they are horse guards. Okay, send my light horse to go up after the guns. My heavy cavalry can advance or can continue their move. General, get back involved. That's enemy horse artillery advancing in there. You advance up. I mean, the enemy is just really giving themselves every reason to get encircled with all their cavalry. That's a another artillery unit. Okay, let's charge my light hussars. Actually, charge them into the regiment of horse first because they're exhausted. Okay, then go in for the guns. Okay, well this is their infantry line. Infantry lines are starting to get involved now. Charge my heavy cavalry into the general staff. I mean, look, they're, they're just... Again, if I take these two units, that's near as damn it, encircled. Then go after the artillery here. They've got... Oh, they've got some... Tirador coming in. Okay, you go attack them. You attack the general staff. I mean, the enemy force here is just... Yeah, we're just gonna... General, there now we go. It's another general. Wiped out. So we knocked out some gunners to so bring my cavalry back. How are you? You're active, so you hit the cavalry de linea, my horse guards form up, my light hussars get back and re recover. You can try and kill a few more cavalrymen. Let's squeeze this encirclement a little bit more. So who have they got? Tirador. Tirador. Obviously these are skirmishers, light troops. They look pretty good. They look like um, rural artillerymen from the British Army. They look pretty good. They've got a 14th Regiment of Foot Voluntarios, so these are almost like your conscript line infantry. Let's just let this chaos unfold first. Get my cavalry back to reform. Got more troops coming in. Light fur, grenadiers. So I want to let let this encirclement complete naturally first. 
Then we'll form up a new line. But to be honest, what might end up happening is... Dictate some of my assets to that goal. Horse guards and lights get over there. Horse guards and lights get over here. How it says unlimber. To be honest, some of them just attack. Just, just attack the twelve pounders. You men get involved. You guys come back here. Not that I'm particularly worried about any of these Teodor, but I do want to make sure that I've got my... Oh, the light foot. Yeah. My light foot are going to attack their light foot. There we go. Their men have broken. So this light infantry come back and join the front. Something like that. Bayonet charge. That infantry, that regiment, of, that line infantry regiment. This regiment of foot is about to go down. Get my howitzers up to the front. My 12 pounders are all the way at the back, and I'm okay with that. Okay, my cavalry is actually doing quite well at getting back into shape. So let's begin advancing up to destroy these skirmishes. Uh, you guys hold this right flank actually. Cavalry get back into position. Don't have anything to worry about from the Spanish routing troops. You men advance along to the new line. These guys are all actually in pretty good shape. Get my company, my, my cavalry units ready. Oh my god, I said don't, don't worry about them, but look. Run my artillery towards my line that's coming in to cover them. My artillery is too far to the rear to do any much, do anything much to help. Tirador are wavering. When the foot guards open up, that will really help. Broken. So again, keep advancing my troops up in the formation like this to maintain as much surrounding fire if you like as you can to be honest I could even send a light horse unit back just to make sure that these people don't actually you okay you actually in delta just push back up to the line you're a gun unit you two can focus against volunteers my light cavalry just chase down their gunners they aren't going to be around for very long. Get my infantry to continue surrounding the enemy. You push up one flank, you push up the other. Get ready to knock him out. Push my general up to the front. Tirador are going to be upset. So the Grenadiers are pushing along this flank. Not a massive problem. There you go. My light cavalry have knocked out Glorious the gunners. Is soon to be yours. So these skirmish troops. Ah, oh, actually, you turn fire well off for now. Somewhere there's another unit I've turned fire well off for, but I've not turned it back. There we go. You advance, you advance, you advance. Get my 
cavalry up to the rear just to give them something to worry about. There we go, the enemy unit to the rear has been knocked out. Bring our 12 pounders up just to maintain a bit more of a coherent force. There we go. To be honest, I might bring my cavalry in to destroy the light infantry. Keep my other infantry moving to surround and destroy the grenadiers when the time comes. The light foot can be attacked by most of my cavalry. Let's make sure this Finnish troop doesn't interfere with that too much. To be honest, let's commit my cavalry to action. There we go, get my other cavalry forward to attack the last remaining the last remaining light unit there so now these units their job will be just to pivot and engage the remaining troops on this flank here ooh beware of stakes there we go Skirmishers are shaken because they know well they're already tired, they're already depleted and they've broken. Pull my cavalry back over here. Same here with you guys. Do not advance any further because yeah, we've already lost a few light cavalry to the stakes. Yeah, the Tyrador upset. These men are not going to be happy. You men just box in those remaining grenadiers. The Finnish troops charge in. They're already wavering. There we go. The grenadiers broke. Espanoles Zapadore. Up, down they go. Huzzah! So that is a significant blow to the Spanish troops in the region. We only lost, didn't even lose 400 men, they lost 2,100. Obviously that's the way you run. Secure the gate, or secure the bridge, the force here at Castle. Mr. Skaldebrand can advance out and auto these remaining troops, including their generals that escaped. Good. So what I mean is that these guys, if I advance these guys this direction, then obviously there's, a, there's an opportunity here for them to outflank me and go for Castle. But I'd like to engage them in battle around Stuttgart, have a force here ready to prevent the French from driving north, maybe lure in Napoleon into a fight. And once we've taken Stuttgart consolidated it, we can attack with a two-pronged force against Munich. Then once that happens, Mr. Roma can begin a series of engagements against the Swede, uh, Swiss Empire here in Luzerne. Can do some upgrades here now. Soon the Spanish will come to the south. And you are still going to be... It's two turns, I think, till you get your lifeguard regiment. Just keep on adding 80 gunships to the line, because I'm going to need them. Sooner or later. Okay, let's hit end turn and see what happens. Lots of my militia are going to continue to run up to the front. See, the French Empire now looks pretty small. They own a couple of territories in Italy. They own Munich, but that's about it. Prussia has done a good job pushing them back on their front line. I suppose that's why I'd, I'd like to try and create a bit more of a front line against Prussia while I mop up Spain and before I declare war on Britain. Ah, you're going to run through and raid a bunch of my territories, aren't you? Raiding isn't the end of the world. 
Most of the French are being squeezed from the east. But I think we are in the most optimum position out of all of Europe. Uh, because the French territories are incredibly, incredibly lucrative and we've got some excellent opportunities to push against Russia. Amphibiously land against the Prussians on the coast. I think we're in a really good spot. We have forces that are already capable of engaging Spain. So they might push up in the manner that they are doing so. But it's not going to be enough to prevent an overall victory. It looks like they are still determined to reinforce troops in, in uh, northern Italy. But at what cost? Hmm. See, they're going to try and flank. You're going to push up towards... Oh, no, you're not going to push up towards Strasbourg. Yeah, they're all going to continue moving. You push up to... Oh, because they're all stood there, you can't get across. I see. Agent detected. Gentleman again. Yes, yeah, so you need one turn. So if they if, if drop a howitzer in there, we need to pull it out. Construction. Roads. Steam pump mines, which we can upgrade immediately to industrial mining complex. That's pretty awesome. Let's make sure we do that in all of our territories. It'll take 10 turns to reap the benefits of it. Another mine in France, although you and you are a bit frustrating. But we can now move Mr. Von Doblin's force out of Cleves and get him to advance maybe towards Paris just to be safe. Can you guys leave Reims? You can. So what are you? Just a gunner. Okay, my militia can try and go after you. You are... Well, I'm pretty sure you are just trying to run around to reinforce the it Italians in your own way. One more turn till that's finished. Okay, so I don't want to leave Strasbourg. Well, I don't think this army can get involved in the fight for Stuttgart. Because if we do, then this force will just hop over and cause trouble for us there. So you need to... Maintain your defensive position on the bridge. Let's upgrade the gold mine here at Kessel. Is Napoleon inside here? No, that's Roland de, de Aubigne. Aubigne? Aubigne? Although they're come, here come the Russians. Let's try and sabotage their army. Damn. Let's hope the autumn, the uh, the uh, French can push them back. I would like to take Munich. So much so, I might actually creep you forward a bit. Hold here. Actually, you might have to go slightly further north just to make sure they try and try and minimise this guy trying to flank around us. You next turn you're ready to replenish and you can attack Stuttgart. There will be a French force coming in as a reinforcing army, which could be a bit squeaky bum time, but apart from that, I don't think there's going to be any problems. You're within spitting distance of Pamplona next, or when you're finished replenishing as well, which is good to know. It might bust straight through the center here, which could be a bit awkward. Um, but again, that will be part of that, will come down to. This army being recruited, it is tempting to knock out Spain before pushing too hard against the other allies, because I will be at war then with the rest of Europe, depending on who brings who in. Hopefully, they're going to advance north and reinforce Munich. Uh-oh. Yes, fortify Munich. They've abandoned Stuttgart. They've pushed... Oh, this is a, this is a set of perfect circumstances. Munich is weak. Munich is weak. Stuttgart, Stutt, Stuttgart is weak. We can try and attack and capture both of those cities, which will help put a bit of a, a blocker against the Russian Empire trying to get too clever. Prussia's moving in. We don't want them to get any ideas. But this is why I need to keep... Sweden needs to be constantly churning out troops. 
because we aren't going to be able to do what we need to do. Don't raid. Although it does look like they do just want to push troops through. Ooh, okay. There's a Prussian... That Prussian army there now is in my favour. Stuttgart is... The garrison's wandering around. Agent executed. Hey, they tried to... They tried to screw with me. Let's see... Oh, no. Okay, let's see if you do. Can you retreat? Bring you down. Okay, so we've got another force here at play. Which did recruit suitably. So you men get aboard. Ancillary gained, ugly cousin. <laughs> he may have the face like a Barbary ape's privates, but he is family and owns an able mind. Okay, so you, this force is probably going to come over here and move down into this front. You chaps get back inside. Finland, you need to recruit more Finnish troops, more in Delta, more Militia, more Footjäger. Just keep recruiting. We're 11,000. Bordeaux, you can push. Oh no, you can't. They, they, they are an unhappy people. Oh, you're still rebuilding the military academy, I see. So you need to hold. I mean, that's too tempting, especially four units here are generals. And also, Mr. Skoldebrand can push south and attack Munich. I might get you infiltrate Munich. See what we what are we facing? And there's Napoleon himself. They could bring a significant army to bear, though. Push within range. We need Mr. Neumann to attack Stuttgart first. Yeah, Fonzi. Fonzie? It's Fonzie! Fonzie Gutierrez, Celso Aguilar, Guillermo Nadal, and Hector Navarro. Well, all of you chaps will be destroyed when we take Stuttgart, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we continue to make moves against uh, our enemies in Central Europe. Cheers, everyone.